Hey everyone, the name is Chris Barocci, welcome to Gear Corner. Today I want to show you this mad new pedal by Beatronics. It's called the CB, it's a chorus and it's a harmonizer and it has a lot of features and it's like an analog effect built into a computer, built into one enclosure. We need to talk about it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my videos. Uh, you can give this video a thumbs up, that would be awesome. And check out the description box if you want to know my signal chain, if you want to get some uh, gear links, if you want to check out the pedal yourself or anything else that I'm using. And of course, for timestamps. Let's get into the CB. You get a chorus and a harmonizer, like those two main effect types. So it's like a pedal with two pedals built in, and both of those effects, the chorus and the harmonizer, can do so much. It really is like a, a, a multi-effect, but an analog one. It's, it's really cool. All right, let's get into the first section, which is the chorus. As you can see, there are a lot of, it's a beautiful pedal, first of all, like, come on, let's appreciate that. But there are a lot of writings on it, and a lot of little switches and knobs and bigger switches and jacks and everything. So yeah, what's happening here? You have a mono input and there's a, a multi-jack that um, is basically MIDI and does more. It has all kinds of features and uh, you have stereo out. You can use it mono or of course run into two amps and use it stereo. That's just the power socket, nine volts, standard power. Then you have two foot switches one to um, one is the bypass so you can turn on and off the whole pedal and the other has two features it's a tap switch and a ramp switch depending on you pushing it shortly or staying on it um, and holding it then as told it has two modes chorus and harmonizer so this little toggle switch uh, lets you decide which effect you want to use and then you can of course use that and save it in a preset and then toggle between the presets etc so let's stay in chorus then this is the next switch which allows you to decide between three different chorus types one the first is roto the second is called depth and the third one is called sting once you decided on using a chorus or a harmonizer and you decided which mode out of the three you want to use, you can start tweaking the knobs. Uh, you have three of those, ramp, rate and depth. And if you want to access the secondary features that they have, press and hold the bypass, this LED comes up and then this is going to be a tone, a mix and a feedback. So uh, you have those secondary features. Once you set those, you can press and hold the bypass again and then you go back to the normal features of these knobs, so the ramp, rate and depth. Mm -hmm. 
So that's like a traditional, really pretty chorus sound. What if I want to have some rotor speaker effect? I'm, I'm in the first mode, which is called the roto. Uh, so the ramp switch will allow me to speed up that rotor speaker, so to say, or simulate that. That's the first mode of the ramp switch. I'll show you the other modes as well, which are momentary modes, but uh, let's stick to this first. <laughs> If you want momentary feature, there are two modes, really. Uh, the first one is that it ramps up until you hold it, and then if you let it go, it ramps back down. And the other momentary mode is where you step on it, it ramps up, and if you let it go, it cuts right back to the normal sound you had. The next chorus mode is called depth. What happens in this mode is that you can set up your chorus sound the way you want it. It's super sweet. And then with the ramp switch, you can actually fade it out or fade it in, depending on which direction you are going with the ramp up, ramp down. Uh, this is just too cool. Listen to this. And in the third chorus mode, which is called the Sting, uh, you can actually get into like a double tracker, really short delay, room reverb, kind of weird reflection-y kind of thing. Let's move on to the wild side of life, the harmonizer. The first harmonizer mode is called the dual, which, uh, which sounds like this. It's not really just a harmonizer, it really is a harmachorus, I think they call it, um, at Beatronics, uh, for a good reason. It still choruses, it just throws harmonies under it. And now it's time to lift off. Um, 
we're going to the moon. This is the arpeggiator, the arp mode of the Harma Chorus. <laughs> In the ARP mode, you can choose between 12 different note combinations and 12 different patterns for the arpeggio. So, and then you have the ramp with which you can go between two settings that you choose. This last uh, harmo mode is called MAT. <laughs> In order to explain what the mad mode does, I will I will grab my little friend. This is my best friend. It's the uh, tone fishing guide. <clears throat> Modulates the delay time of the chorus and gives you thousands of musical random patterns for the arpeggios. Um, you can choose between 12 chords and thousands of random patterns applied to the chord notes. Now, plus there's the ramp foot switch with which you can, uh, you know, do this two times and then ramp between them or go between them. All right, my thoughts on the CB. Uh, first of all, it's one of the nicest looking pedals ever. So if if there was a, an Oscar going for like pedal design, please give it to Beatronics because, I mean, come on. I'm pretty sure the main audience is going to be the tweaker. It's really easy to understand the logic of the pedal as soon as you spend some time with it. But that some time is not just two minutes. It's more like a couple of hours until you get used to it. You kind of have to read the manual or look up a couple of videos and, and make sure you understand what the basics are. And then you can figure out the rest. And if you know these effect types, all the switches and knobs make a lot of sense. So that's not an issue at all. I could imagine this being like at least two separate pedals. That could have been a thing Beatronics uh, could have done. Uh, make a, a harmo chorus, like the crazy stuff with the arpeggiators and all those things, the harmonies and everything, and just make a simple chorus. But they didn't want to make another chorus and another harmonizer. They wanted to create something original that, that inspires you to use the mad side of it, the harmo chorus side, uh, but still offers all the prettiest Bucket Brigade kind of chorus sounds that you want for your regular songs and, and those gigs where you cannot use an arpeggiator. <laughs> so it's all in there and it's really compact for what it is. It's barely bigger than a, a boss pedal. And, um, and it's, yeah, it's special. That's what it is. It's not your next Electric Mistress and Q-Tron and uh, boss chorus, you know, interpretation. It's it's just very different on all the levels. Really cool stuff. All right, let me know what you think about the CB in the comments below. See you down there and uh, see you in the next video in case you decide to join me. Bye-bye.